All right, I know it's windy, so the drift car made it on its second event, but we've made some changes and we're gonna be making a few more. So here's some knuckles. We're gonna be making uh, slightly more angle. We're gonna be cutting it here, and here, and we're gonna be moving this to there, and it's gonna give us substantially more angle on the car. So that's what I've been working on, grabbing that uh, parts off this other subframe. So now I'm gonna go take these and uh, go get them cut up and uh, weld it together. Then we're gonna get them on the car. So that uh, should give us a lot more angle. So here we go. Cut about two inches out of there. And I'm gonna get ready to weld this, but I gotta get it clamped down. We're going to heat this up until it's hot to the touch, which is around 150 to 200 degrees. And it's cast steel, so no big deal. And then we beveled all the edges and we're going to weld it together. So I gotta get the welder down here and stuff and then we're gonna go weld All right, we're gonna go start installing some parts in the car today because uh, this is where we're at. So the knuckles are all done. Uh, got new roll center tie rods and stuff like that. We got uh, upper control arm, camber arms. Um, wheel bearings are all in these, all that, all modified and uh, yeah, got a new seat, tie rods, control arms, these knuckles, uh, some wheel spacers, because uh, they're probably gonna wanna rub the control arm, we're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna have a lot more angle on this thing. So uh, let me get these loaded into the truck with the rest of the parts and um, go get this car while the car's still on the trailer. So uh, get the car down to the garage and uh, work on it tonight with Jake. Well, Jake works on his uh, S14 and uh, gets that back together so we can hit the last event for the season. So there they are. Um, it's gonna help substantially and we're probably gonna put a hydro in today as well. If not tomorrow, whatever, we'll get it all together. So a few little upgrades. Um, like I said, everybody, you know, it's kind of like, oh, you can't have budget and stuff like that. Well, we made these ourselves. These were a hundred bucks. The upper control arms are 179 and I think I got 300 bucks in a seat, but you know, uh, the seat makes life a lot easier, obviously. Um, the one that's in there now, I'm, I was in pain the last time, uh, getting tossed around with the steel frame inside that carbo and, uh, yeah, no good. So that one's going over to the passenger side. Um, the new prism, uh, seat is going in the driver's side for now until I get a full, um, full retained uh kirky for it but uh it's the last event for the season so it was just a few little things to make life a little bit nicer for this last uh event so uh let me get this all uh loaded and uh get down to the garage and we'll start installing the stuff here we are half disassembled get the nut off the bottom ball joint gotta get the top one off get the tie rod on uh, i gotta get this abs plug off and uh this upper ball joint and then this control arm out and uh clear sailing so far tie rod just popped right off um take this pick get this abs sensor off i don't have enough hands so i will be right back and we'll have this all part all right we got this all part so there's the upper spindle there's the new one there's the new one so we're gonna hammer this all in here and then show you how much angle we got so Give me, uh, well, it'll be instantly, because, you know, it's YouTube, but uh, give me a minute and uh, we'll get this all slammed together. a bunch of stuff anyways here we are tie rods in angle 
sufficient way to put a little rack spacers in. Put an under tray on. So that's what we're looking like up front. And it's gonna be fine. We couldn't use those upper control arms because they hit the rims. So with the spacers, we got just enough room between there. So we still got plenty of angle, stuff like that. Either way, gotta finish buttoning a couple things up and we're done. Well, 6.30 in the morning, fueling up, getting ready to go to the track. We made it, everything's together. So now for the drive. As you can see, that was the uh, last event of the season. Uh, getting used to driving the car after realigning it and the angle kit and all that stuff. Uh, did do a lot of spinning out and stuff. Um, and had a lot of people spin out in front of me. Didn't get a lot of great track runs, so not many clips. But did get some. Got a lot more angle and stuff like that. And just uh, a little update on the FC where it used to have some cranking issues um, even after we put this four port uh, MSP engine together because these were the rotors that were out of the bridge port that was initially in the car that had a hard time starting cranking and completely slipped my mind is so when they machine these rotors they're two different sizes there's your two millimeter point zero seven five they're loose in this rotor and I need these which are 0.78, which are tight in the rotors. So two millimeter deep, 0.78. Um, I got another set. Uh, fortunately, in my rush to get that engine together, uh, I guess we had a slightly detonated before in the Bridgeport engine, and we had some contact with the housing. So we're done with these rotors, onto those rotors, and we're gonna put the spore port back together because it makes gobs more torque even with the bridge so a little update on the fc so but anyways um did pick up a auto power uh four point roll cage for the rx8 uh we'll be installing that harnesses and um going with a different set of upper control arms and doing solid mounts in the rear subframe and new control arms in the rear and stuff like that to uh for next year because we're done for the season but um i mean can't complain the car performed decent for what it is just messing with setups and stuff like that so uh we'll have a little more to come down the road here 
with uh, some more installs. Uh, the season's getting really cold now. Uh, did not get the shop up this year because of the COVID bullshit and uh, building, everybody's building a million houses, which made absolutely no sense. So um, by the time I did finally get quoted for the concrete, uh, they said it would be mid-November, which it's mid-November now in talk er, to December. And I wasn't paying extra to have antifreeze put in and all the extra work that goes into doing concrete in the winter. Um, so it's going to be in the spring. And uh, that's pretty much where we're at. We're going to try and uh, get a turbo manifold built for the RX-8 for next season. Along with, um, like I said, we're doing the roll cage, uh, hopefully turbo manifold and other things to that car. And uh, we're going to be doing more with this REW Bridgeport for Herbs FC. Mike's uh, fuel injector 12A that we're working on. Um, little tiny tedious projects this uh, winter. Well, I really wouldn't say tedious projects. Maybe we'll get to Jordan Semi over there and uh, some of these other 12As and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll have a lot more content coming soon. I know I've been slacking a lot lately, but, I mean, I guess that's what happens. A lot of stuff going on and uh, trying to get things straight. So thanks for watching, guys.